Good luck. Hey everyone here, welcome to the replay viewers watching this later on. And if um, you don't know who I am because someone has shared this on their Facebook or wherever, I'm pianist Daniel Roberts and I love to perform and share beautiful music with the world. Just like my fantastic guests today, Fabiana and Paula Chavez from Argentina, Buenos Aires. And I'm just gonna show them right now on the screen. So here we go. Welcome, Fabiana and Paula. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, the audience. All over the world. Hello. So we're just getting live viewers coming in now. Um, if you're watching on the replay as well, please share this out on your Facebook. It'd be really cool. And you can still comment as well and ask questions later. And we can get back to you with answers. So. Great to have you here, my neighbours in Argentina. <laughs> so now, um, before we talk about everything, Fabiana and Paula will play a piece for us. So I'm going to put the title on the screen and then after they'll tell us some information about this music. Okay. Well, okay, here we go.
was really beautiful. Thank you for that performance. And welcome to viewers just coming in. Let us know where you're all watching from in the comments below. And as if free to ask any questions in English or Spanish as well for our friends here in Argentina. So really great piece. Can you tell us about this piece? Well, uh, yes, it is uh, an Argentinian a piece by an Argentinian composer. Uh, the composer, his name is uh, Juan Carlos Sorsi, uh, and uh, uh, it is a work written uh, uh, for piano for hands and for orchestra as well. Uh, it has uh, four numbers. Uh, yes, uh, four numbers, and this one is the um, number four. Number yeah. three. Number, number four. Number four. Yes, number four. Uh, and uh, the whole um, work, uh, the name of the, of the whole work is Music for Carousel. And as a matter of fact, this one is um, one of that carousel because uh, we've got um, various uh, types of carousels. And this one is the uh, park carousel, as a matter of fact, because we've got, uh, for example, um, a carousel that is a broken one, that it sounds you know, really, really strange. And we have chosen this 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 uh, piece for you to share with all your, the audience today. Yes, and, uh, um, and uh, it is a, a, a kind of a dis uh, description um, uh, work, you know, um, um, like um, show describing a, um, a scenery. Uh, from yeah. the, um, from the from children, so you know, yes. Yeah, that's great, and that's um, musica para calesita. Is that right? That's right. In Spanish, music para, music para, para carousel. Great. So we got um, some comments here already. We got Collier Lun who said "Brava." <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and, um, we got a friend of mine from Wales here, Gez, and he's asked a question. So we can we'll start with that one. Actually, how does having two pianists at one piano augment the music for both the musicians and audience? So I think he means how does it improve the music for you and the audience? Yes, uh, thank, thank, thank you, thank you for from Wales. <laughs> yes, did you get that? Did the sound cut out? Or? The sound, yes, a little it's, bit um, cortado. Yes, it's okay. cutting you, a little bit. Yes. Sorry, then I'll ask you: How does having two pianists on one piano um, improve the music for the audience? And the musicians. Um, we don't understand very well the question. Uh, can you ask me another way? Or yes, yeah. Way? So, um, how do you think the audience experiences the music when ah. there's two, when there's two pianists at one oh. piano? Well, I suppose it's a, it's a very, very visual thing uh, to see uh, two pianists in only one piano. And it's uh, very strange because uh, our hands are always uh, crossing, uh, going down, yeah. going out. And uh, it's, um, it's like a show, I suppose, for the audience uh, to see two pianists in one, only one piano. And the sound as well is totally different than when you play alone because you, you get to, um, to count on that, that, that two persons are, are on the piano and it's not uh, very easy to play together with another person because it's, it's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's fine. Yes, yes. That's great. Yeah, and it's, I was thinking it's like a ballet with the hands, isn't it? Ah uh, yes, some some people uh, uh, have already told that that it's like we were dancing while we are playing, 
yeah. because uh, yes, because we we like uh, moving and uh, uh, feeling the, the music uh, while we are playing, and sometimes our moments are uh, um, are the same, and we yeah. don't uh, don't yeah. like <laughs> no don't we don't realize about that, but mm -hmm. some people. Uh, have already told about that. <laughs> yes, it's 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 true. It's true. Yes, that's great. Okay, so that takes me to my first question now that I've got. So, what's inspired you to learn piano? And I'll try this now. Um, let well, me show. Yeah. Quay foi lo quay la sinspiro a studia piano. Great. Do you want me to answer in Spanish or in English? Both, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm, bueno, cuando éramos chicas, lo que lo que más nos nos gustó fue um, un piano que había en, en casa de mi papá, que um, que era un piano que no dejaban tocar a nadie. Y bueno, y eso es como que nos creó más. Eh, ganas de querer tocar, eh, porque cuando te dicen que no, uno es como que, bueno, eh, bueno, si me decís que no, más me dan ganas de tocar. Y veíamos ese piano en la casa de mi papá eh, como una cosa que, que era una cosa maravillosa, majestuosa. Eh, y bueno, y, y papá era pianista y por eso estaba el piano en la casa de mi papá, este, que era el que, bueno, nuestros abuelos no nos dejaban tocar. Can I say one in English? Oh, no, okay, thank you. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yes. Okay, Paula told, uh, told us that, uh, the audience, that uh, when we were um, very, 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 very little children, um, we were at uh, our grandfather's uh, house, uh, and there was a piano that they didn't allow us to play. No way, don't play that piano. It's not so hard to play it. And uh, um, that uh, makes us a kind of, made us a kind of, of, of um, I don't know, of, of a kind of, uh, what about this? This is a mystery, a kind of mystery. Uh, how could, 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 could I feel to play that piano when it was a, um, um, our father's piano when he was young because he was a pianist. So he made, I guess. So you became curious. To, yeah, that's to learn. right. That's right. That's, so that's right. Brilliant. Okay, and then the next question. Uh, <laughs> let's get it up here. Show it here. So, did you always play together, or later on? A siempre tocaran juntos. O solo últimamente. Well, eh, bueno, no siempre tocamos juntas. Eh, antes tocábamos solas, eh, especialmente cuando así estábamos en el conservatorio. Eh, pero bueno, ya en el conservatorio ya habíamos empezado con nuestro dúo de piano, eh, que es lo que más nos gustó. So we, when we were at the conservatoire, uh, we used to play alone, pieces alone, because we had to play them, <laughs> because we were out of the, the conservatoire uh, to become this teachers of the um, bachelor degree, um, bachelor's degree in arts. And um, uh, while we were studying, we were we 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 played a lot of uh, pieces together as well. Uh, and what that was what I we we would love to do to play together. So that's we are going to continue doing. <laughs> yes, uh, over the last few years we have been specialized in uh, uh, piano for hands repertoire. That's great. And then, like three years ago, you released an album. Well, three and a half years ago. Yes. Um, which pieces did you record and why did you choose them? And well, I'll, I'll ask... we don't know why we cho we're no. chosen that. Well, I suppose uh, one of the pieces, that uh, the, the first one in the album, is uh, a sonata by uh, Wolfgang Abadeus Mozart. Uh, this one is uh, Kegel... Um, 521. Yes, uh, that is a very, very one of the last uh, 
the last pieces uh, Mozart uh, wrote. And uh, yeah. this is one of the most difficult, uh, the most difficult sonata uh, for piano four hands. Uh, because I don't know, I suppose he, he didn't know, um, he didn't recite it. He, I, I suppose, um, I, th I, I, I thought he, he was thinking about uh, playing, uh, composing a, a sonata for two pianos. Because uh, the difficulty is uh, very, 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 uh, very, it's very hard to play together. The sonata, and I don't know why we, we chosen that because it's very, very difficult, but it's beautiful. And uh, then uh, Madame Roy by Maurice Ravel, uh, that is one of the pieces we played uh, first. Yes, the first piece I was supposed to play yeah. together. together, yes. And uh, Poulain Sonata, uh, it's a very, very mm, nice and fun. Uh, Piece uh, for piano for hands is very popular in uh, for hands uh, for or for duets repertoire, and it is yeah. uh, yes, it is very fun. Uh, it is uh, a more uh, effective, um, uh, se effectix, uh, más effectista. Uh, how do you say in English? Yeah, no. uh, it's uh, Daniel. Can you help me with the, mm -hmm. with your with the English uh, when you yeah. it cause an effect? Uh, on on the sound. Yeah, it's a very. Um, I've got the album. I've listened to that, and it's very um, dramatic, isn't it? Yes. yes, yes. And it changes the mood. Changes a lot, like in Poulenc, his music yeah. it changes a lot, like after what ten seconds or whatever. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, three different uh, uh, periods of uh, of um, or, or uh, three different styles. styles of music, yes, yes we are talking. one very contemporary, the other the other one uh, yeah. classical, and well, Ravel is more uh, uh, impressive. Yes, yes, that's great. And I've I put um, on the screen for the viewers. I put your homepage. So please, if you if you want to listen to this album, go to the CD Baby store. You can find the link on this website, and you can buy their album right now today. Download it. Um, <laughs> CD right Baby. Press, play, press the button. Play the <laughs> buy button. <laughs> buy button. <laughs> we'll still be here. <laughs> so yeah, that's their website. I put it on the screen, and it's in the comments there. So we got um, someone here, Piero Buongiorno. He's giving us a wave. Yes. I guess, Hello, Piero. Uh, How are you? <laughs> are you watching from Italy, Piero? Or is he one of your friends? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. That's great. And would you, would, do you just want to say a few words in Spanish about the album before we move on? Oh, well, eh, OK. Bueno, lo que dijo Paula recién, eh, del álbum que nosotros elegimos eh, tres periodos diferentes, eh, completamente distintos. Eh, tenemos por un lado la sonata eh, de Mozart, eh, que es una de las más difíciles, que es la más difícil de, la, de las sonatas para cuatro manos eh, del compositor. Eh, por ser una sonata que, 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 que es difícil de tocar porque es incómoda, porque no se sabe si el compositor realmente tal vez quiso hacer una sonata para dos pianos en lugar de una sonata para cuatro manos. Eh, es bastante larga, dura media hora. Y después tenemos el, el Mamá Roy, que es Mi Madre la Oca, de Maurice Robert, que es una obra un poco más impresionista. Y finalmente tenemos la Poulain Sonata, la Sonata de Poulain, que es eh, un poco con los ritmos más cambiantes, más efectista, era lo que Paula quería decir. Y, y bueno, y tenemos como tres estilos distintos de música en el mismo álbum. Gracias. De nada, de nada, de nada. De nada. De nada. De nada. <laughs> Fantastic. No, I, I think it's really lovely to listen to. So, um, next question then. You use the technology to learn your music. And can you tell us about this technology? how it works and how you learn with it, etc. Okay. Abby, 
Well, um, um, for, for Spanish viewers, uh, ¿qué, ¿qué tecnología utilizamos nosotras para, para leer nuestras partituras luego de haber perdido nuestra visión? Um, well, um, we use, uh, as we, when we, we became blind, uh, we, 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 I went to the website and found a, um, a very useful feature, a very useful software called Lime Load from uh, a company called um, Dancing Dots that specializes in uh, techniques for blind uh, users, blind musicians. And um, that, that software is, um, is very useful for us because we found in this software uh, um, a way to learn the pieces, uh, avoiding, avoiding uh, learning Braille music notation. That it was very yeah. difficult for us after, after losing our sight because we were very used to read um, um, uh, conventional music notation. So yeah. uh, we um, found this software that is a kind of uh, dictation, you know, it's like uh, someone is uh, dictating you, but you navigate the score through the, the, cur the, the cursor keys and with the, with the arrows down, right and left, and you move it through the score uh, in a very natural way. And it, it was very useful for us to um, to, to, to hear the, the, the name of the notes, of the accents, the dynamic, and all that sort of things. Yes, and one and another one thing I wanted to add, Fabi, yes. is that uh, as we were uh, partially sighted before, we, we, we were able uh, to, to read the, the conventional scores. So this way, with this uh, software, we imagine that we are still... Uh, uh, seeing the score that we used to see before. So it's like um, uh, this way we can memorize uh, the score yeah. and then play it on the piano. I don't know if it is clear it's enough. Clear, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And I, I remember when we met for the first <laughs> time in London yeah, two years ago, while like, yes, but... you told me about this. <laughs> 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 That's great, but I think, oh, who's that? <laughs> One of your pets has escaped again. We've got from some viewers, we've got my friend Claudia Santiago um, saying, oh, oh, Hello, hola Claudia, como estas? Beso, hola. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend Gaz said, wow, when he, you were talking about the technology. So did you, did you already talk about it in Spanish? Uh, no, no, no. Eh, bueno, eh, lo que acabamos de decir de sobre la tecnología que utilizamos luego de haber perdido nuestra vista fue que nosotros utilizamos un software llamado Lime Alone, que es de la empresa Dancing Dots y que, eh, que la, la particularidad que tiene es de eh, decir en voz alta las, las notas. Eh, por ejemplo, es como si nos estuviera dictando, entonces vamos navegando con los cursores de la computadora eh, que, que, eh, por compás, por, 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 por pentagrama, y nos va diciendo si es un do de cuarta, si es un do central, si, qué sé yo, y toda la dinámica, los fortes, los suaves, los disminuyendo, los creciendo, los acentos, y lo memorizamos. Y lo que decíamos que esto nos, como nosotros ya leíamos música convencional, notación convencional, musical, es lo que nos, 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 nos fue como más sencillo pasar de eso a, eh, a que, que, que pudimos evitar el, el tema de, de estudiar el braille, que es un poco engorroso cuando uno no, no nació ciego, ¿no? That's it. Gracias. De nada. <risa> Great, so... Oh, another pets here. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of pets. Lots of yeah, lots of pets. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really amazing. And the work you do as well to help um, other, other blind musicians is fantastic as well. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, again, anyone watching here, you can learn all about this on 
their website as well. Let me just find the link again to show on the screen. Okay. So that's their homepage, ChavezTwins.com. Um, so you've been busy the past few years traveling as well um, to yes. play. Um, so which places in, well, we'll start with Argentina. Which places in Argentina have you performed? Yes, in Argentina, we, we performed in many places, especially here in Buenos Aires. Um, we played at Usina del Arte. It's a very, very beautiful, wonderful venue. Yeah. And uh, we played there twice. And then in many places in, in Buenos Aires, uh, but uh, not in other uh, parts of Argentina. Um, only in Buenos Aires, I suppose. Yes. 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 Um, yeah, and it looks really beautiful. I can't wait till um, me and Patricia visit sometime. Oh, um, yeah. Because of course, like, you want to, we're, not, yeah. we're only like a few hours away. Um, so we have to visit and see these beautiful time. Um, so the question I'll ask in Spanish as well, because it's about going abroad. So, ¿Qué lugares tocarán en Argentina y en el exterior? Ah. Okay. Abroad. As abroad. Well, well we're abroad, if we can talk to the audience about uh, the, the, uh, the, the countries, the countries we visited uh, over the last years, uh, the last two years. Yeah. Um, well, we played uh, at the UCL Institute of Music, uh, no, of Education. Yeah. Of Education in, Lom in London. <laughs> uh, London. When we, met, we first met Daniel Robert, it was a great pleasure for us. And uh, that was in uh, 2015. Yes, that's right. Uh, in 2016, we uh, made a European tour that included um, France, Paris, and then uh, yep. Britain in the Netherlands. And after that, we came back to, to London. It was a very a great opportunity for us to play at RNIB, yes, a royal National Institute for the Blind in London, uh, yeah. where we talk um, about um, uh, achievements and goals um, related to music um, techniques and music technology we use for blind musicians. And uh, it was great. Uh, yes. last, uh, last year, um, we went to Spain as well. Yes, to yes. Barcelona, yes. It was very beautiful. Yeah, I remember when after that you, you came um, to London again. Oh, yes, for the third time. <laughs> yeah, and we met for a few hours before I came back to Brazil. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was yes. very <laughs> it, was, it was great because you were coming back and we were just arriving to London. So we, yeah. we on, on, on the telephone, when, when are you leaving? In, it, it was well, great. Well, uh, uh, it was great uh, because uh, we all wanted to meet again. And I suppose when friends always, when we live so so far away from each other, we always find uh, uh, a time for for meeting. It is exactly. different. Yes, yes. And at the days before Periscope, we knew each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is it another pet, sir? Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, lots of pets here, here <laughs> in my house, and so for the audience, I want to. <laughs> so I, I've got another question, and then there's a question from um, Gez. So I'll ask first. So, um, which places would you dream to perform in next? Oh, wow. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. Carnegie Hall yeah. or uh, <laughs> Madison Square Garden, mm -hmm. yes, uh, Wimbledon Hall, yes, uh, <laughs> I see in the Opera House, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? Why not? No. Let's dream. Why not? You can never dream small, you know, keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. 
Um, so, Gez, my friend from Wales, here, let's get his question. He asks, yes. what music do you both like to listen to? Oh, well, we, we, we love listening to classical music in the first place, but we also like pop music, yes, yes, uh, jazz and uh, brass. Oh, well, um, well, I don't know. I like uh, music uh, from all over the world. I, I like um, a, um, musicians, written musicians um, as well. Uh, like listen to, well, yes, to jazz, to music for meditation, all kind of sorts of music. See, well. all, all kind of music. Yes. But we prefer classical music uh, for playing because our uh, um, artistic uh, um, career is focused on classical music, more formal. Yes. Yes. But and you'd like. Yep, he spent many years. He spent many years studying this music as well. That's yes, right. That's yes, yes, yes. Great. Right. Okay, so, um, and then my next question. This is a one about um, how you practice as well. So I'll ask in Spanish first. ¿Qué técnica usan para practicar grandes saltos en el piano? And mm -hmm. this is. Um, which techniques do you use to practice the large jumps on the piano? Yeah. When we lost our sight, it was uh, one of the big, biggest problems for us, for us uh, yeah. to play to, to play a piano without seeing the keyboard. Um, uh, so uh, one of the most difficult uh, techniques uh, was the jumps on, uh, to, to, to move uh, towards the keyboard. So um, uh, we we try we we started to 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 prove different uh, techniques. Uh, for example, uh, um, we 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 realized that uh, the spatial memory in, in the in the piano uh, was very important. Um, this is related with, with, to muscle memory. Because when you play a, a piece over and over and over and over, your finger seems that they, they go without thinking. Uh, you, you can play without think, thinking. And, and that's what we found out that we could uh, use uh, to, um, to play uh, without the, uh, to, to, to play without seeing. Because uh, for example, when you got to play a long distance uh, quarter or a long distance note, uh, you got to memorize that distance. It's like a um, memory on the muscle. I don't yeah. know if, if it's clear. <laughs> and sometimes uh, uh, we use um, the, the black keys of the piano and um, sometimes we've got to make a kind of double check. Yes, yes because we, we uh, first place the, the hands on the piano and after um, um, touch the, the, the keyboard, then we uh, go and play the, 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 the note. The note, because it, it is uh, sometimes very um, dangerous, some uh, chords or uh, some notes. If they are very far away, but they're very, very. Is, is it right? Yeah. Yes, it's right. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> is it yeah, right? I understand. Oh. Yeah. And can you just explain for, our, for the Spanish um, speakers? Bueno, para los los de, de habla hispana, le decimos que lo que dijo Paula recién es eh, que cuando perdimos la vista eh, fue uno de nuestros problemas no poder encontrar esas notas alejadas o saltos alejados de, de acordes entonces eh, eh, pudimos hacer tuvimos hicimos varias técnicas una de las más importantes es el tema del, de, de incrementar la memoria espacial o la memoria muscular que están las dos relacionadas o sea eh, hace, eh, darle mucho 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 énfasis 
a esa memoria espacial y, y como, como una especie de memoria muscular, que es como pensar, como caminar, como eh, que estamos tocando sin pensar, ¿no? Y, una, y otra de las cosas es el doble check, o sea, chequear dos veces antes de tocar esa nota. Entonces, eh, a través de la, del teclado, con las notas negras, vamos eh, poniendo la mano hasta que conseguimos la nota, eh, hacemos el, lo chequeamos y luego presionamos la, la tecla. That's it. That's great, and it's yeah, it's really great to learn like how you overcome your struggles with the the blindness. Hmm, thank you. But, like everyone finds it amazing when they meet you. I remember, <laughs> and uh, there's a we've got um, Rogel Martinez from Orange County, California, saying hello. Hello from California. And Claudia is saying, "Muy interesante, es es chuca." Claudia, te adoramos. Gracias, Claudia. Fantastic. <laughs> so, um, what, um, where, what is your social media for people watching here and on the replay to find you? All the ones. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> no, not all. Not all, no. no. <laughs> well, on Twitter, uh, at Piano Twin Chavez. Um, follow now. Yes, yes, clearly. The, the follow button. Click the follow no. button. Now. <laughs> Then, uh, well, uh, I don't know, uh, Fabiana and Paula Chavez uh, on Facebook. Yes. Yes, the Facebook, Facebook page. Yes. Facebook um, page. So I'm putting that. Um, I'm putting um, the all these things in the chat for people as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, but if on, you... on Periscope, but we're, uh, we don't use that uh, social media as much. Yes, and uh, Instagram. Instagram. Yes. What's the yes. name? Fabiana and Paula? Yes. Oh, uh, Fabiana and Paula Chavez. Uh, Chavez. 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 Twin, twin, twin Chavez. Twin Chavez. Uh, twin Chavez, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> well, I We found... We don't remember. <laughs> that's okay, because if people just search um, okay. Fabiana okay. and Paula Chavez, they'll find you on these in these places. Well, okay. Follow and... now. <laughs> We've got some more comments from fans here. We've got Martin who says hello from Sunny Wales. Hello, Martin! <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's not true. Let's show this. So I'm just showing them. Got. And then um, we've got my friend Gaz has asked you if you can speak some Welsh. He's given you some words. We are going to learn. We're going there to to <laughs> practice to practice a little bit. Yes. <laughs> next said, next you... week, is it right? <laughs> next week, okay. Yes, next week. Is the draft coming with you? <laughs> <laughs> so my, he asked, can you say Nosta Kumri? Did you get that? He said, "No, no, no." And he said, "The sound cuts out." He said, "Can you say Nosta Cymru?" Nosta Cymru. What's that? What's that? We don't. It understand. means good night. It means good night, Wales in Welsh. Ah, it's very difficult. Good night. Good night. Good night. We love you. We love you, Wales. <laughs> Nosta Cymru. That's the Welsh. Nosta Cymru. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right. Is it right? <laughs> yeah, say it one more time. Not Star Cumbria. Not Star Cumbria. Yes. <laughs> all of you in Cardiff now. Now we can go. We are ready to go. We're ready to go to Cardiff. Yes, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, everyone's laughing now. Claudia said she's splitting her guts. <laughs> And Gaz is very happy now. Okay. 
Great. So, um, people watching here, still, you can ask some questions below. You're asking English and Spanish. Um, I've got my last question here. Okay. You guys. Um, so, ¿cuándo es su próximo concierto? In 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. When is your next concert? For the English speaking. Ah, oh, next one. So, so um, <laughs> there will be there will be in July two concerts we are going to play to perform. Uh, at um, we want a kind of a word yes. uh, last um, um, last year. Last year. Uh, it's for playing this year uh, in uh, bars notables here, notable bars uh, yeah. in Argentina. Uh, 36 Villares uh, in Buenos Aires. Uh, and we are going to play two concerts there in, in a very important bar. It is a historical bar here in Argentina. Yes. Uh, it's a very important one. And we are going to play two concerts uh, there. And before that, we are going to make a kind of participation in a, in a launch of a book of, um, yes. uh, of a friend of us. Uh, but we are going to play some this the piece we we've already played yes. before complete uh, complete yes, yes. A suite, a complete suite uh, by yeah. Juan Carlos Orsi um, uh, on June next year. That's it. That's great. So yeah. um, something that we didn't plan. Okay, I want to ask: Could you play the carousel piece again that you played from the start? Okay. <laughs> From the start. Okay. Because What's um, I'm asking because Cliff, she can hear you play, and some of the oh. people watching they weren't here at the start when you played at the beginning. Well, okay. But are you all? Are you, you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree, everyone? Of course. You're the guests. You can. I'm asking if you want to play. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's go then. Let's go then. Yes. Okay. And this is um, this is a piece called Musica para Calasita. <laughs> very well. Your Spanish is very well done. Very good. Thank you. Very good. I do you agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you again. And uh, you. Uh, we didn't plan for this, but who cares? <laughs> You've got to play the uh, double. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So we got some comments of people saying, outstanding. Bright. Oh, thank, you. thank you very much. <laughs> And Chris Bryan here, yes, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you so much everyone watching. I'll just put um, your website up again for people joining us. Thank you for giving us your time today to talk and perform for us. Thank you very much to you, Daniel, to, to give us this possibility to... to um, to know all these fantastic people and to talk to you because it's a, really a pleasure always for us. We have lots of fun together. <laughs> and before this uh, this um, um, broadcast. broadcast, we were laughing a lot. Yes. <laughs> it was marvelous. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. yeah. I'm happy the technology works. Yeah. <laughs> Great, so everyone watching, thank you again for your questions and for joining us. So I just, I put the wrong website by accident, so I'm just changing that. Mm -hmm. um, and Piero says, bravo, thank you. Muchas gracias, Piero. Gracias. Gracias. So that's it for today. If you're, if you're just joining us, um, this video will be available in about five minutes as a replay on this page here. Please share this out um, because I think it'll be awesome if more people can learn about Paula and Fabiana and the amazing work they do as well as their concerts to help other uh, musicians with disabilities. So, okay. Thank you. And muchas gracias. Gracias a vos. Gracias. Besos. Gracias a vos. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Chao. Bye. Bye. Bye.